Hello, and welcome to Leon's Lock Pad. Today, I went down to my uh, local Aldi store. Quite have a nosy in. Normally, I do the few fair few good tools in there, bench drills, things like that. Not too bad quality and, and good guarantees. Uh, anyway, I came across a section that was doing padlocks. So I saw this baby and I thought, I'd like to have a crack at that. Because uh, I've never done one of these. Um, it's a home protector, safe and secure. Solid brass body, 75mm. Hardened shackle, uh, steel shackle with a horizontal shackle geometry. Uh, two keys. Uh, it's definitely one of uh, Aldi's own products. They did have other ones. Um, they had ones like this. Like this draper. But it didn't say Draper. Uh, it was it was generic. There was no name on it. It was practically the same. I, I didn't see the point. I'd seen it. Already picked one. They had this version, which was the same size as this one here, the big uh, Draper one. Uh, this one has a circular keyway. Just give me light. It has a circular keyway. Apologise about that. There we go. Um, and obviously I couldn't use a normal hook in that and, and that. Uh, and yesterday, it's getting a little bit bored. So I was having a faff with that lock and I used a snowman pick. Put it in, jiggled it about, turned it, unlocked it in a matter of seconds. So I didn't see the point of doing a video on, on that. I will do when I get a better one, but that one I just didn't see the point. But um, yeah, we've got this one. And we'll let's crack on with this one. Let's have a look. It's a fairly weighty padlock. I suppose obviously being solid brass. Spring loaded shackle. Let me show you the key and the bidding. Now it's being awkward. Oh, there we go. There's the bidding. Not too bad. Ooh, does work. Works quite smooth. Uh, it's key retaining once the shackle's out. Can't remove your key. Uh, put your key in and gives you your key back. Right, well, let's uh, let's have a try picking this one. Just the camera a minute. Gonna use a small hook and a homemade tension wrench. Use uh, the metal out the metal insert out of the old wind wipers, which is really good to use. Gonna go bottom of the keyway. Right at the back, there's four, got a binder on four, bit of, got, that was number two, oh, number three, and there we go, what was that, less than ten seconds, that was very easy to pick. The lock itself is not too bad, because to be honest, unless you know how to, uh, unless you know how to uh, pit locks, you're not going to get really too much of a problem with these. Sorry, my focus is terrible. There we go. Too much shine. Yeah, this lock, if you want to use it for your shed, it, it is, to be honest, it's, it's not too bad. I've not done the hammer test. I've seen someone else on YouTube do the hammer test for these. And some of them do take a, re, uh, a right good beating before they start uh, falling apart. Um, so for anything like a shed, it'd be perfect really because they make too much noise if it's in your back garden before they get this off. Unless, like I say, they know how to look actually how to pit locks and just easily get it undone like that. Um, but not too bad. What we'll see is though, there is other locks out there that are, are, are better. Um, 
It's a not bad heavy duty lock, I must say. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, thank you very much. Please subscribe. Um, I'm getting some more locks in. Um, and if I get more subscribers, I will start sending these locks out that I've picked to uh, other pickers out there who want to have a go themselves and you know pass them on to other people. More than welcome. Um, but uh, please subscribe and thank you very much. And keep legal. Bye.